hello students in our last class we have already studied about aids and cancer today we will study about drugs and alcohol abuse this is the last part of the chapter drugs and alcohol abuse especially among our youth remains a major public health problem it can increase the risk of injuries violence hiv infection and other diseases this needs timely intervention and proper treatment services if left untreated the situation could turn critical even if life threatening in some cases extensive research has revealed that alcoholism is not developed in a single day but over the course of time as a result people suffering from various dependency levels need to opt for alcohol rehabilitation without further delay however medical science has progressed to such an extent that a complete recovery and can be complete recovery can be achieved at any stage of drugs or alcohol addiction at the same time it is also significant to note that when an individual abuses drugs or alcohol for a long period of time he or she loses the ability to seek assistance there are many who struggle but are not ready to seek treatment during to treatment due to feelings of embarrassment or insecurity drugs the term drug is applied to any chemical compound that alters the biochemical or physiological process of tissues or organisms the term drug refers to any substance which is principally which is used for its psychoactive effects drugs are addictive in nature and they alter the working of the body in such a way that after a certain period of time the body demands it so the physicians prescribed drugs to prevent or cure disease or otherwise enhance physical and mental welfare but as i told drugs are addictive in nature when these drugs are taken in amounts or with methods neither approved or supervised by medical professionals it is called drug abuse drug abuse has become a global menace in today's modern society and in many cases it has led to the disfiguring and destruction of fundamental fabric of society drugs commonly abused are opioids cannabinoids and coca alkaloids now these drugs are classified on the basis of mode of action on brain into two categories firstly psychotropic or psychoactive drugs secondly psychedelic or hallucinogenic hallucinogenic drugs these are the two categories of or two types of drugs and as told you the drugs which are commonly abused are opioids cannabinoids and coca alkaloids opioids they are the drugs that relieve pain without causing loss of consciousness or they are the drugs that relieve pain without causing loss of consciousness they decrease perception and reaction of pain and increase pain tolerance they work by binding to specific opioid receptors which are found in the brain and gastrointestinal tract opium is obtained from unripe seed pods of the poppy plant papaver somniferum this is a plant from where it has been 
extracted it has analgesic effect and may also reduce anxiety tension and lowers the bp and breathing rate opium and its derivative include morphine codeine and heroin so here as i told they are they work by binding to specific opioid receptors which are found in the brain and gastrointestinal tract these opioids as i told include opium morphine codeine which are natural substances that come from seed pod of the asian poppy papaver somniferum to a wide range of non narcotics such as aspirin astaminophen and ibuprofen which are prepared in the laboratory they also include the synthetic derivative heroin this is the photograph of papaver somniferum so papaver somniferum is mainly an ornamental plant and is a source of opium to collect the milky sap slits are made along the circumference of the seed capsules enabling the sap to ooze out and dry it is then scraped from the capsules pressed into cakes and dried to form the opium morphine and codeine are naturally occurring alkaloids obtained from the unripe fruit of the opium poppy plant called papaver somniferum morphine is very effective sedative and painkiller it is useful in patients who have undergone surgery another opium derivative is brown sugar chemically known as diacetyl morphine hydrochloride heroin commonly called smack it is synthesized from morphine by treating it with acetic anhydride to produce a combination or it is producing a powerful combination heroin heroin as i told you it is called smack usually appears as a white or brown powder or as a black sticky substance known as black tar heroin this drug made the user feel a sense of grandeur that is like feels like a hero or heroine hence diacetyl morphine came to be known as heroin the name has come from that it also acts as depressant slows body functions and kills pain heroin can lead to strong addiction it is smoked snorted or injected that is about the morphine and heroin cocaine is obtained from the leaves of erythroxylon coca very important question in the exam this will be asked for one mark so cocaine is obtained from the leaves of erythroxylon coca it interferes with the transport of neurotransmitter dopamine crack is purified form of cocaine it can cause seizure and cardiac arrest excessive dosage of cocaine causes hallucination the drug belladonna is extracted from the dried leaves and roots of atropa belladonna belladonna is a narcotic diuretic and anti spasmodic leaves contain atropine which uh, which that is something used to control dilation of pupil of eye so that is about the cocaine so cocaine is a white crystalline alkaloid substance and it is i told you it is obtained from the leaves of coca plant cocoa plant erythroxylum cocoa and is used medically as local anesthetic the native americans of the inca empire chewed cocoa leaves to obtain 
stimulation and alertness it is commonly called coke or crack or white snow it is usually inhaled through a thin tube inserted into the nostril or smoked through a white through a water pipe sometimes it is injected into the vein so that is about the cocaine this is the photograph of erythroxylum cocoa drugs like barbiturates amphetamines benzo diazepines lysergic acid diethyl amides lcd are and other drugs that are normally used as medicines to help patients cope with mental illness like depression and insomnia are often assured lcd is derived from ergot fungus claviceps purpurea it is been derived from an ergot fungus claviceps purpurea the products of hemp plants that is cannabis sativus like bhang marijuana ganja hashish charas etc are other examples of hallucinogens cannabinoids as we were discussing cannabinoids they are the endogenous receptors of the active cannabis molecules which have been identified in some parts of the brain particularly in the immune system the cannabis plant exist in three varieties namely cannabis sativa cannabis indica and cannabis ruridalis cannabis sativa is known as indian hemp it is is the most commonly found growing in almost any soil condition and it has been known in china for about 6000 years so this is about the cannabis reserpine alkaloid is obtained from roots of rolfia serpentina it is used for the treatment of blood pressure snake bite and mental disorders this is cannabis sativa known as indian hemp as i told it is commonly it is most commonly found in it is most commonly found growing in almost any soil conditions cannabis sativa this is rolfia serpentina next coming to adolescence adolescence are the teenage years between 13 and 19 and can be considered the transitional stage from childhood to adulthood however the physical and psychological changes that occur in adolescence can start earlier during the preteen that is ages 9 to 12 adolescence can be a time of both disorientation and discovery the transitional period can bring up issues of independence and self identity it is during this transition period some adolescents may experiment drugs and alcohol or sexually sexuality as today's youth perceive these as cool and progressive so adolescence is the period of rapid growth the physical and mental development poised between childhood and adulthood 
changes taking place during adolescence are accelerated physical growth and development of reproductive organs changes in functioning to the or functioning of the neuroendocrine system shifts of mood and emotional turbulence prompted by increased production of hormones etc during adolescence an individual moves out from the familiar periphery and begins to identify and define his or her position in relation to the outer world so the, there are many causative factors first and foremost cause is curiosity and exploration at this stage peer groups and external appearance tend to increase in importance recent statistics show that pressure to excel academically has driven some to try drugs and alcohol to ease their so called stress increased independence allowed by the parents and unstable family backgrounds are also the major contributors some people use drugs to relieve stress and to forget about their problems genetic factors may predispose other individuals to drug addiction other factors could be tv shows movies newspapers internet etc the illegal use of drugs was once considered a problem unique to residents of poor urban neighborhoods today however people from all economic levels in both cities and suburbs abuse drugs drug abuse is taking more than the recommended dose of prescribed drugs such as barbiturates without medical supervision or using government controlled substances such as marijuana cocaine heroin or other illegal substances legal substances such as alcohol and nicotine are also abused by many people alcohol abuse or excessive drinking is associated with a whole range of problems such as physical psychological social criminal and economical addiction addiction is a severe craving for anything which interferes with a person's ability to function normally it is a type of dependence which is psychological or sometimes a compulsion to use drugs or alcohol to experience new feelings when the body becomes accustomed to a drug it requires ever increasing amounts of it this condition is worst when certain drugs or alcohol is used constantly for long period then we call it dependence state where the user continues its use of the substance despite significant health psychological relational familial or social problems dependence is a complex phenomenon which may have genetic components psychological dependence refers to psychological symptoms associated with craving and physical dependence to tolerance and adaptation of the organism to chronic use so addiction refers to the dependence on and craving for tobacco alcohol or a particular drug addictive disorders are the state of body when it requires continuous presence of psychoactive substance within it as i told curiosity need for adventure and excitement and experimentation constitute the common cause which motivates youngsters towards drug and alcohol use tobacco is dried leaves of plant nicotiana tobacco and nicotiana rustics it is obtained from these plants nicotine is a substance that causes addiction to tobacco nicotine is highly poisonous diseases caused by tobacco addiction are chronic bronchitis emphysema coronary heart disease gastric ulcers etc dependence 
is the tendency of the body to manifest a characteristic and unpleasant withdrawal syndrome if regular dose of drugs or alcohol is absolutely discontinued it is characterized by anxiety shakiness nausea sweating which may be relieved when use is resumed again alcoholism alcoholism is a consumption of or preoccupation with alcoholic beverages to the extent that this behave behavior interferes with alcohols alcoholics normal personal family life high level of alcohol causes disturbed thinking irritability reduced self control slurred speech drowsiness etc alcohol decreases the activity of central nervous system thereby reducing anxiety tension and inhibitions it also decreases the adh secretion causing increased urine output excessive doses of drugs may lead to coma and death due to respiratory heart failure and cerebral hemorrhages in the liver alcohol is converted into more toxic substance called acetaldehyde which is used by the cells for energy liver synthesizes fats from alcohol the extra fat decreases the production of enzymes and structural proteins the accumulation of fats results in fatty liver syndrome leading to cirrhosis important measures for the prevention and control of alcohol and drug abuse are drug education and counseling program looking for danger signs avoid undue peer pressure seeking help from parents and peer seeking professional and medical help and enforcing stronger laws and penalties so prevention and control is very very important several measures as i told have been taken to counter drug and alcohol abuse united nations drug control program established in 1991 the program works to educate the world about the danger of drug abuse the program aims to strengthen international action against drug protection trafficking and drug related crimes through alternative development projects crop monitoring and anti money laundering programs so with this we have come to end to the chapter that is human health and disease in our next class i will give you the assignment related or the questions related to this particular topic we will solve those questions in our next class for today we'll stop here so today we have completed with the last part of the chapter that is drugs and alcohol abuse thank you